All right, yesterday, I finished this section over here. This part just took one day. No valley, straight edge to straight edge, way faster. And my rose came out really, really good. Which is important because you can see that part from the street, just like this part. Now I'm starting over here. Another crappy one with the valley. I found if you lay these out, they warm up and they're way easier to cut. One drawback, the little asphalt tabs on the back start heating up and I came back after two hours and there was like nine pieces, fragments all stuck to my framing square. So it becomes kind of a mess, but they are way easier to cut when they're hot. Got my first course down and I've just cut my step segments. Same size. God damn it.
and there's your stair method. Now you just continue adding full sheet, full sheet, full sheet, full sheet, full sheet. Take it through, and then the next one you start over with a full sheet, then reduce them five and five eighths each time. Magic, huh? We got some work going on over here. These guys got a miserable job taking down a chain link fence that's been growing for 30 years with an ivy through it. Kiona Locos! Putting up a new redwood fence. Red roof in. Oh, I ran into a problem around the fireplace. You can't drive a nail into the flashing into the bricks or it would just split them in half. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have to make something or see if they got something available for that. When I tore off the old one, it was, uh, they had put like a little eighth of an inch factory bend on a piece of metal and like pushed it in between the mortar. I don't have the capability to bend something that close to the edge. It would require a press of some sort. So I gotta look and see if there's something for that solution. I was able to get the two to stick to it, tarring them up at this side with the angle and everything and they didn't want to stick. So I have to figure something out for that. I'll put asphalt bead caulking all around it though. It'll be watertight, but I gotta do something with it. I also need to add one of them spark arrestor things on the top of it while we're here. All right, let's see how much I can get done today. It goes fast until I get to the valley, and then you gotta angle cut like fucking 60 pieces. Waste a bunch of material too, which I hate doing, but it's necessary. Oh yeah, I figured out I am going to be able to use these ridge caps on most of it, except the part by the chimney. part by the chimney is too gradual of a slope for these, but this one is going to work. And look how magical this is going to sit. That's going to be good. So I only have to make like 15 feet of my own. They won't look as good as that. It'll just be a bent over piece. These are really nice looking once you lay them all out. But that's good news because these things are like 60 bucks a box and there's four of them. <laughs> all right, signing off till later. Come back at the end of the day.